Hi, the question in this video is about exponential expressions and equations. In part A of this question, express h and k in terms of x given that 6 to the power of x minus 3 multiplied by 24 to the power of 3x plus 1 multiplied by 27 to the power of 3 minus 2x is equals to a to the power of h multiplied by b to the power of k where a and b are both prime numbers and a is lesser than b and that's a four marks question in part b of the same question hence find the value of x given further that the same expression of this is now equals to open brackets a b close bracket to the power of q where q is a rational number and that's a two marks question you might want to pause this video to give this question a try and when you're ready, keep watching. In part A of this question, we are to express h and k in terms of x given that the left hand side of this equation is now equals to a to the power of h multiplied by b to the power of k where both a and b are prime numbers so please take note over here, a and b, they are prime numbers and they form the basis on the right hand side of the equation. That means to say that on the left, the basis of 6, 24 and 27, they are not prime numbers and we are supposed to convert them to prime numbers before we can use our indices law in our EMAF. So let's recap on our indices law in our EMAF. So the very first law we have over here is the same index. So if I have the same index of power of n in this case, a to the power of n times b to the power of n will now give us a bracket a b close bracket to the power of n so if they do share the same indices like this of n in this case then the base can just simply multiply to each other and open a parenthesis like this and put the power of n right outside the brackets so with this in mind let's start off our part a of this question so in the very first steps since we are given 6 24 and 27 which I've highlighted respectively in yellow, greens, and blue. So the six can therefore be split into bases of two and threes, sharing the same power like this. So I can do the reverse of this formula. That means to say I can split a base like this into two separate bases sharing the same power. So the base of six can now be split into two and three bases sharing the same power. Likewise for the one in green, 24, can now be split into 8 and 3, 8 by 3, where 8 can be re-expressed as 2 to the power of 3, and 3 is just simply there over here. So they share the same power of 3x plus 1, and on the left hand side as well, we still got the blue ones here, 27 can now be re-expressed as 3 cubed. So 3 cubed, open and close brackets, to the power of 3 minus 2x like this. So as we can see here, they are all now prime numbers in the basis. So we have 2s, 3s, 2s, trees trees and since they're all multiplied by each other or product of each other we can use the next law of indices in this case with the same base so if i have the same base of a like this so a to the power of m times a to the power of n will therefore give us a to the power of m plus n so same base of a when the power when the base multiplies the power adds so same base of a multiplies power x so m plus n so in this case over here we can convert all the same bases like this of the twos so the twos the twos can all be merged so the power will now be added since the base is a multiply so x minus 3 power will now be added plus now over here this power is going to be multiplied inside like this so we 9x plus 3 so like this 9x plus 3 Likewise, for the trees, the basis of trees, we now have an x minus 3. Take note, it's a multiplier as well. Same base, multiply, power x. So likewise, for this, you can multiply into power like this. So you're going to have a 9 minus away 6x like this. So now, as you can see, we have this 2 to the power x minus 3 plus 9x plus 3 times 3 to the power of this whole lengthy expression here is equal to a to the power of h times b to the power of k. So for the next formula to work, Please take note that they must be expressed as a product on the left as well as a product on the right. And over here, we have to fulfill the conditions is that A and B are prime numbers. So for A and B to be prime numbers or prime bases, the two and threes are also prime bases as well. 
A is also lesser than B. So by inference, A, the base of A should therefore refer to the base of 2. The base of B should therefore refer to the base of 3. So with that in mind, let's go on to the next formula that we have. When we are solving exponential equations, if the base on the left is equal to the base on the right, the index on the left will therefore be the index on the right. So a to the power x equals to a to the power of n. So same base of a, so power will be the same. So a equals a, x equals to n like this. So with that in mind, since we know that a is now 2, so therefore h on the right, the power of h on the right is now the power on the left as well. So it's highlighted in blue. So power of h is now equals to x minus 3 plus 9x plus 3. Now expressing h in terms of x, in other words making h the subject will therefore give us a 10x. So that's the first part of your part A. And for the next part over here, highlighted in green, so we know that b is the same as the base of 3 here. So therefore the power will be the same. So k will therefore be equal to the green color power here. So solving for k will therefore give us 7 minus 2x in terms of x. And that's the part A answer. In part B of this question, we are given another equation, but on the left-hand side of this equation, it is the same as the left-hand side of the equation in part A. That means to say, the right-hand side of part A would therefore be now the same as the right-hand side of part B. So let us first start off by replacing our a to the power of h, in this case, a to the power of h. It's now replaced to be a to the power of 10x from part A answer, and b to the power of k is now replaced to be b to the power of 7 minus 2x in part A answer as well. So this a to the power of 10x multiplied by b to the power of 7 minus 2x is now the same as a to the power of q times b to the power of q. So on the right hand side, I did something over here because the original part b question was the a, b brackets to the power of q. So I'm using the same index law. In this case, sharing the same power, what happens is I want to split into two different base. So splitting into two different base of a and b, sharing the same power, I now have a to the power of q times b to the power of q. Now over here, since there are no other terms on the left and on the right, there is no plus or minus, there's only a's and b's like this. So solving exponential equation using the last formula over here. So base of a is now equals to base of a. So power of 10x is now the same as power of q like this. So q equals 10x in blue, as well as base of b is equal to the base of b on the right. So power of 7 minus 2x is now the same power of q on the right hand side. So q equals 10x, q equals 7 minus 2x, solving for simultaneous, you can therefore have 10x to be equal to 7 minus 2x, x would therefore be 7 over 12. And that's the answer for part b of this question. Now, it is also worth noting that the whole of this question does not require any additional mathematics formula. In other words, this whole question can also be tested in an O-level elementary mathematics. So please take note of that. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something again and see you in the next one.